Hey, it's Craig Freshly here. I am speaking to you from a boring hotel banquet room with no windows and gray walls. I have been in a meeting in this room since 8 a.m. this morning, and I do a lot of hotel meetings like this, and I'm gonna share with you some techniques to liven up a meeting like this. Let me show you around a little bit. Here at the end of the day, this meeting room is pretty disheveled. There's tables and chairs all over the place and it's kind of a mess. And one of the reasons is because of this ground rule up here on the screen that I shared with the group at the start of the meeting, it says ready to move. I told them that during this meeting, we were gonna be getting up out of our chairs at several points in the meeting, and here's some of the ways that we did that. For one thing, we started the day with what I called a lineup. I asked everybody to stand up and line up in order uh, by which they joined the company around the outside of the tables. It was kind of fun uh, to let people find their places in the lineup. And then from that lineup, uh, they did introductions and I asked us some questions and we were able to talk a little bit about uh, the, the, the observations of people joining the company at different times, etc. Another way that I asked them to move was we had some small group discussions uh, later in the day, and we did those over here in this empty space in the meeting room. I asked them to bring their chairs down here, circle up, and have discussions in a close circle rather than across these tables. Another way that we moved in this meeting was for lunch. The best way to have lunch in a meeting like this is in a separate room around a small tables so people can talk to each other across the tables. We didn't have that option today, so I made a split decision. When it came time for lunch, I said, okay, people, you remember the ground rule, ready to move. I'm gonna ask your help in moving the tables. And we moved that table clear out of the way. We moved this line of tables and this line of tables together in the middle to make one big, long kind of boardroom banquet table. And we all ate together, sitting face to face. I can't tell you what a difference it makes when you ask people to eat sitting across from each other rather than sitting in a line. That is another way that I got people in today's meeting to move. There's a last way also that I got people to move in this meeting. Look at the very last ground rule, music stretch breaks. And what we do here is every time we come back from a break, we sit down at our, at our uh, chairs and everything as if we're going to start the meeting. And then when everybody's assembled, I say, okay, you know how this works. Everybody stand up. And I turn on some music. And I turn on some pretty lively music, not too loud, but something with a beat. And I start a stretch, a simple standing in place stretch. And I do this kind of stretch for as long as I want. And everybody is following it along with me. And when I feel like I've done it enough, I name somebody else. And it's their turn to lead a stretch. And they might just do a little stretch like this or stretch like this. And, and then they will name somebody else. And it'll be somebody else's turn to lead a stretch. Now, if you don't want to lead a stretch, you can just immediately say the name of somebody else to like pass it along because not everybody's comfortable doing that. And in a lot of groups I do this with, some dancing kind of goes along with the beat of the music and it gets people up out of their chairs, stretching. Then when we sit down to meet in this stuffy, boring hotel conference room without any windows, the blood is flowing and we are in much better shape to make good group decisions. When I explain this ground rule, I, and of course, you should know that I don't spring this on anybody. Of course, I would not do this without clearing it with the, with the meeting leaders ahead of time. When I have a planning meeting, I'll ask them, what's your appetite for movement? Would you like to get up out of your chairs? Would this kind of thing be okay? And only if they say this kind of thing would be okay would I do it. 
But when I explain the ground rule, I give them a heads up about what's going to happen. I'm going to say that we're going to do stretch breaks. We're going to sometimes gather uh, in small groups. Uh, we're going to do lineups. We're going to be moving around in this meeting. That's what ready to move means. But it also means ready to move philosophically, uh, ready to move organizationally. I am asking for people in my meetings to have an open mind and be ready to move off of the positions that they came into the meeting with. Ready to move is a pretty darn good ground rule philosophically uh, and physically, especially if you're going to have like an eight hour meeting in a pretty typical hotel conference room like this, it's really great if you can be ready to move. Thanks for listening, everybody, and here's hoping that you help your group make good decisions.